What is up you guys, Oscar here with a new video. Before we get into it though, I'd like to remind you all to like this video, subscribe to my channel, share this video, and turn on post notifications so that way you guys know when I drop a new video. So let's get into it and this is going to be my post game reaction, Washington football team versus the Cincinnati Bengals. Washington comes away with a win, 20-9. to um, And my reaction is this. Um, first off, um, I hope uh, Joe Burrow, you're okay. Um, he he goes down with an injury, and I don't want to get into what ifs, but I wonder if if that would have been the result for for Washington. Um, if Joe Burrow would have stayed in that game, because Joe Burrow was cooking Washington. Um, they they Joe Burrow was just you know was carving up the defense. It was just it was a very ugly. Ugly, ugly first half. They Washington's defense gives up 250 yards of total offense when Joe Burrow was in that in that game, but they were able to get to uh, Ryan Finley and um, when he stepped in as quarterback and were able to finish off the game. So um, all all goes well for for Joe Burrow. Hopefully he's okay. Um, they're saying that it's a left knee injury. Um, they haven't specified yet, but he did send out a tweet that see you guys next year. So we're assuming that it's it's bad, but um, hopefully all goes well, Joe Burrow, in your recovery. Um, but yeah, as I as I go forward, um, you know Washington's defense. And we're um, I'm gonna give my initial reaction, uh, give, be a little bit more organized in my thoughts, and, and talk about the good, the bad, the ugly, um, in a more organized way. Um, but Honestly, I actually thought that, you know, Cincinnati was going to run away with this game the way that they were playing in the first half. And, you know, their their kicker, we were having, you know, you know how we're having kicker issues. Their kicker was having issues kicking extra points and, and field goals and stuff like that. Um, they, to be honest, um, should have come away with more points in the, in the first half. It wasn't for their kicker. So, you know, at the first half, you know, I was saying, you know, uh, like here we go again. They they trail into the half ninety seven, but you know it, it should have been a lot more for for Cincy. But you know, and and the defense, you know, defense showed up here and there in the first half. You know, they were able to force a, a turnover um, when Cincy was in the red zone. But you know, um, the, uh, like I said, the defense was getting carved up in in the in the first half. So um, and Alex Smith in the offense. Check this out. The offense was Alex Smith and the offense were able to only run 23 plays in the first half. Imagine that. 23 plays in the first half. That that is just bad. That was just bad and of course Alex Smith throws a pick um when we're when we're in Cincinnati territory at the end of the first half. So I was thinking, you know, since he's going to go up more than than what we are now, but um Fortunately, again, the kicker missed extra points and field goals, so um, that that is my reaction. Um, that Joe Burrow, if Joe Burrow would have stayed in, because he was carving defense up. So, um, but Washington was able to rally their defense once uh, Ryan Finley took the reins of the offense. Were able to step in um, and and take care of of, of the game there. So. Um, yeah, uh, the Alex Smith was able to uh, get better as the, as the game went on. Got his first win as a starter for the first time in two years. Um, long time coming. Congratulations to Alex Smith. Um, Antonio Gibson, four yards shy of a rush of a one hundred yard game. Um, just is it just me or I hate it when that happens? When when you have a good player and you just need that one little push. But they don't get it. But um, nice job running the football for the for the Washington football team. Their offense over 100 yards rushing. Antonio Gibson is balling for the team. I think it's eight touchdowns now in ten games. He is wow. That, that, that's all I got to say about that. Terry McLaurin, a beast. Um, Cam Sims disappeared today, but um, he he's been a beast with with Alex Smith when when he's gotten the opportunities. So um, that enough there. So let's get into the good, the bad, the ugly. All right. So the good was Washington came away with a win. Their defense um, in the second half when Ryan Finley was um, Ryan Finley uh, was in the game. They were able to get to Ryan Finley. 
Um, their offensive line, even though they gave up big, you know, sacks here and there, um, played decent for 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 Alex Smith. They were able to play decent for Alex Smith to get um, so that way Alex Smith can get the ball out of his hands. Um, so that you know, um, I think Washington did. Other than that interception, please correct me if I'm wrong. I think they had a they they won they they won the turnover battle this game. Um, please let me know in the comments if Washington turned over the football. I was having connection issues um, with my phone because I do watch um, and, uh, Washington content on my phone because uh, my brother loves to watch NFL Red Zone on my TV. So I was having connection issues with my phone. So let me know if I did miss something. But to what I saw, the only turnover Washington had was the um, interception. So... Uh, Washington were able to win the turnover battle. Um, Ryan Philly had a couple of picks. Had that f- um, Joe Burrow had that fumble. So uh, that that is the good. Washington won the turnover battle. They were able to get Antonio Gibson going today. Um, let's. Uh, so that is some of the good. The bad. The defense again. I. Joe Burrow, if Joe Burrow, I, I'm wondering if what would have happened if Joe Burrow would have stayed in the game because Jack Del Rio, Jack Del Rio's play calling was awful. It was awful in the first half. Troy Apke, Troy Apke needs to go. Troy Apke needs to go. He is trash. Got burnt on so many plays. Dropped an interception. Had hands like a snake. Troy Apke needs to go. I tweeted that earlier. I said, hey, Troy Apke needs to go. Um, he's garbage. Trashy, as as NFL, as uh, Washington football team's uh, YouTubers call him. Uh, shout out to you, Ed Oliver, because you're the one that calls him the most, that, that name. But Troy Apke needs to go. He was trash. Um, so, you know, it's just, the, the defense just was getting carved up. Um, so, uh, that is some bad... The ugly, um, just, uh, Dustin Hopkins is another guy that, that needs to go. Uh, he didn't miss, a, he missed a field goal at the very end, but like I said, today it didn't matter, but when it matters, it, he needs to make those kicks. He needs to go. Everyone has been saying that. What is the loyalty to Dustin Hopkins? What, he needs to go, and, and I've been saying that for many, many weeks now, so, um, of course, the um, the the coaching again, like I said, is another ugly. The you know J- Jack Del Rio was questionable. Um, Scott Turner at some point was was questionable as well. Oh my god, that that reminds me. So Joe Burrow, like it's third and eighteen, and I'm thinking, okay, Joe Burrow is probably gonna throw a screen or something. No, Joe Burrow is able to you know. Just run up the middle, get 20 yards on a third and 18. The Jack Del Rio, just not his best game at, at the first half. Not his best game at all either. Um, he, the coaching has been questionable. Um, so, you know, that is that is the ugly. Um, I'd like to backtrack. Uh, shout out. Ronald Darby's balled out today. Ronald Darby was all over the field today. Shout out to him. Um, but, um... Yeah, uh, Ronald Darby balled out today. Chase Chase Young was all over the field as well. You know, didn't get a sack, but, you know, was, you know, able to, to get to Joe Burrow and, and Ryan Finley. You know, he was a disruptor today. Um, more more bad or ugly, if you want to take it. Some Someone needs to coach Montez Sweat. Um, someone needs to coach Montez Sweat. Another offside penalty. Montez Sweat, that cannot happen. He has had so many offside penalties this year that it's just it's just getting tiresome. When I when I hear oh Washington's you know Washington defense offside, I'm expecting Montez Sweat that to happen to him. Um so that uh that that's another bad slash ugly. Uh Montez Sweat needs to fix that. Someone needs to coach him, have them have him get that corrected. So um other than that, everything was okay in the second half. The offense was able to get come back to life. The defense, you know, once Ryan Finley got got back in, 
uh, was in that game, were able to, you know, get back to him. Tim Settle with a sack. Ryan Kerrigan with a sack. Uh, Fabian Moreau with an interception. So, um, yeah. Uh, other than that, um, okay then, guys. Uh, this was, you know, all-around solid win. Happy we won. On to Dallas. Um, I don't know if I'm going to... I was in talks with Jason uh, when Washington and Dallas played the first time. If you wanted to do a Thanksgiving thing or, you know, a Thanksgiving pregame slash postgame, I need to reach out to him again. Jason, if you're watching this, Jason Alamil, of course, uh, check out his, his channel. If you're watching, let me know if you want to do it again. I know that this week is, is a little bit crazy. I know that some colleges are, you know, trying to wrap up finals with, with COVID and stuff like that. So I don't know what his availability is. I, I guess I'll reach out to him. But maybe, maybe not. Um, we'll be doing a post game or a pre game and a post game for Washington and Dallas. It is Dallas on to Dallas in Dallas Thanksgiving Thursday. Um, that post game reaction may come Friday morning. It may come Friday morning, but you know more as more information comes out, I will definitely let you guys know. Um, please follow me on Twitter because that's where I post um, any news for my channel. Um, so, you know, follow me on Twitter to, to get any updates regarding me and my channel. Um, so, uh, like I said, keep it here. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on post notifications. Hit that or hit that red button. I guess I'm going to start saying that now. And like this video. So, that is it for me, guys. Happy Washington 1. We are now, th Washington is now 3-7. and seven. Um, On to Dallas. See you guys next time.